लाइफ लव एंड लाइट बिगनिंग ऑफ ए न्यू सीरीज इन साइट्स इन टू द बुक लाइफ लव एंड लाइट बाय निवेदिता रिम्बक दिस बुक स्टार्टेड एज द जर्नी ऑफ अ सीकर एंड अलॉन्ग द पाथ इट वॉज रियलाइज द क्वेश्चंस दैट द ऑथर हैज आस्ट ऑल दो दीज वर द पर्सनल क्वेश्चंस बट दीज क्वेश्चंस बिलोंग टू द एंटायर ह्यूमैनिटी The author had the courage to ask those questions, whereas others do not have the courage. So, book began as a dialogue, a communion between the author and her master. Later on, it assumed the form of a classic. Introducing the book, the author. says rights which is part of preface preface is a dialogue between the author and the readers she explains the author explains the detailed strategy and other matters relating to these the book begins love is the energy that flows like a river between shores of trust and understanding of bio energy you are endowed with infinite capabilities unparalleled intelligence and quality of self determination to explore and venture in any field or direction grow and transform not only your life but that of those who aspire for a life of harmony and bliss only you need to take the first step the rest follows whatever the present moment brings accept it as if you had chosen it remember it contains infinite possibilities for you these will be available to you only when you accept this very moment totally remember this is for you alone and no one else can access this the author is talking about unconscious and subconscious layers also it contains your unconscious and subconscious memory that you may have to relive if that may be necessary however once you accept your path will be clear and journey of transcendence will not only begin instead gain momentum this is a great insight to begin the book the significance of the present moment all that happens or changes that happens only in this very moment present but we live in the past which is no more and future which is not yet born the author continues the general fact and insights into how life moves we spend nearly 20 25 years of our precious life in university campuses learning this discipline or the other we graduate from the universities with honors degrees and credentials we are told now your education is complete and you can enter the world most of us have no idea what lies ahead of us we have answers for questions relating to chemistry physics and other disciplines but we do not have the answer to the simple questions that life asks on a day to day basis this is a fact the real test of your education 
comes when you are traversing through life's roads. You have to deal, know how to deal with children, how to deal with so many other disciplines that dimensions that life presents for you. And we find ourselves in that moment when we do not have the simple questions that life asks. We are in conflict and inner chaos. Such was my situation and life. Very clearly she agrees and not only that, she gives an insight that this is your situation as well. Like any other person, we start our sex life very early. Just after puberty or in some cases even before. I was born and grew up in the European environment of Germany. As a result, my life was not different than that of any other person of my age. In such an open cultural environment, the journey begins with the first relationship and great, with great enthusiasm, soon ends in chaos, venture into another, again the same fate. This we consider life, life of success in one in certain fields and failure in most important aspects of our life and living. This was my life, all chaos, ignorance and conflict in spite of university honors and excellence in music. Through her own experience, she explains the situation of the modern man. We consider that when puberty and maturity comes, we can start a life together. There is a prescribed age when one can get a driving license. Also, one gets voting right after a certain age. But sadly enough, there is no such age prescribed for starting a sex life. My life began in the same way and soon ended up in this array, a very honest explanation. This is what has to be appreciated when the author is honest enough, not putting on the mask faces to present himself or her himself holier than holy approach. I was stumbling in such an ocean of chaos with no way to swim across to reach the other shore. But there was a deep inner voice that one day the ray of light will enter through the thick layers of chaos and ignorance. The light will find a small opening to reach then one day the time of the destined meeting arrived. I saw the glimpses of light in a mortal form. I could relate, talk, cry and open my heart, share all my problems and all that I was ignorantly nourishing within up to now. Thus began the journey. Normally journey when it begins it begins slowly, but with so many doubts, doubts lurking behind the mind. So the author continues, thus began the journey, first slowly, with so many doubts lurking behind my conscious mind, but the communion, both silent and in words, slowly and slowly continued in that light many conflicts began to recede like a defeated army. I had no more logical arguments left in me. The journey still continues 
I began to understand many simple questions that life asks on a day-to-day -day basis. I realized love is an unseen but realized truth. We are not aliens nor as a strangers join. We are bound to each other by a causeless force that we know as love. Love is awakening. Love comes as wisdom that we neither care nor cherish. Love is the process of the beginning of the blossoming of innerness. When love evolves out of the quick sense of emotions, it gets wings to reach the vast sky. And then it begins to float. Rarely one reaches to this state. Then for the first time, you experience another dimension of love that you have never known. It has two aspects. The first is compassion on the part of the awakened one and the other aspect is of trust. Trust is on the part of the seeker and compassion is on the part of the awakened one. Then trust becomes the reflecting media Whatever questions arise in the inner horizon of the seeker, the answers, the answer comes on the inner horizon without any effort like a miracle. It was a new beginning. I was lucky to have the communion with Tao. During these sessions, he ex responded to questions like what is life, what is sex, what is relation, what is meant by relationships, various layers of sex, understanding sex, and there, wo and there is much more that forms the part of this work. I am sure it will help you as it did me through this work with the support an inspiration of Tao, I share with you what I learned and penned as personal notes so that you can continue your journey from any point where you are stuck and lost your way towards a life of bliss and harmony. Indeed, it is the diary of a seeker after truth. Why this title and subtitle? Indeed, it is the communion as we understand between a seeker and the awakened one. We cannot call this communication because it did not happen in a usual way as we understand it. Enough for now, but this journey into the author's insight and author's communion with her readers continues enough for now.